Hello friends, uh, I just want to talk about high frequency trading, but before that we need some basic concepts such as order book, what is market making, what is order book. So traders, we have different kinds of traders, fundamental, uh, there are noise traders or liquidity traders, very simple traders who just want to trade for fun, make experience, they attend uh, classes for technical analysis and now they just want to trade and see what happens so they are just amateurs we have also informed traders and arbitragers they have all the data for different people okay so they can just do a quick static arbitrage to get profit the last kind of traders are market making these guys work for big hedge funds, institutional banks. We call them big boys. They are real professional traders. So let's jump in on what we call electronic market orders. We have a order book, okay? And uh, we just have limit orders and market orders. We have a matching engine that matches buyers to sellers. Here is the graph of two stocks. It is for from NASDAQ limit order book. LOB stands for limit order book. At 10,000th event of the day. So red bars are the available bar. Blue bars are available sell. As you see, left stock is more liquid than right stock, which has many gaps. This is very, very simple algorithm to what we call walk in the book. First, we have incoming order. So it matches the limit orders that offer best as much as it can. After that, if market order quantity demanded is less than offer at best price, we select the order, the oldest limit orders the one that were posted earliest. If not, we execute all standing limit orders at best price. And then we go to execute against limit orders at the second best price. And then we go to the third best price. So this continues until all orders are executed. So what is addition of limit order to limit order book? As you see, there are some cues. This is the illustration of a buy limit order added to the queue at the best price. This way we can find the quoted spread, which is the difference between ask price and bid price. These are very simple, okay? So let's talk about uh, market order walks the LOB or is rerouted. First, I want to point about addition of LO to LOB. Let's go to details and see what happens. As you see, limit orders are ordered in terms of time priority from right to left. So when a new buy limit order comes in at $23.9, as you see, it is the purple block in the bottom panel. This new limit order joins the queue at the point closest to the y-axis so becoming the third limit order waiting to be executed at 23.9 dollars now we wanted to know what lob or is rerouted is a new market order we want to sell it okay we, we want to sell 250 shares so when a new market order 250 shares enters this market in the limit order book there are two limit orders at the best bid 23.9 dollars represented by the two red blocks as you see so 100 units plus 100 units is equal to 200 units what happens to the final 50 units well it depends on order type and the market in the standard market, in Europe, for example, they execute 50 against 
dollars. But in the US market that you have order protection rules. So what is order protection rules? Yeah, it gets the best possible executions. So in US market, you can even reroute it to another exchange for $23.9. So uh, let's see the dynamic version of limit order book. So as you see, it's a time series. And now uh, it is the most important variable in high frequency trading, micro price. V stands for volume, B is bid, A is ask, and uh, if it is a linear combination of them. So it measures the tendency that the price moves toward the bid or ask price. Very important variable. We need it. So let's see the big picture in high frequency trading. Uh, as you see, there are different uh, modules. If you are a software architect, software engineer, you could use your statistical arbitrage model. For example, I use comma filter to predict the future of the market. And simultaneously, you have automated market making. The one that we have talked about, order book, limit order book, market orders, and uh, so you provide the liquidity, liquidity detection and directional event-based trading. 